you know, we got a couple guys in the room that probably could have been scholarship worthy on different levels of football at this level for how many guys we took out the transfer. So that's eight counting non-scholarship guys? No, that's eight scholarship oh, okay. players. Yeah, we got 16 guys total in our room. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's we, quite a bit. Yeah, we did a good job of, of, of getting depth in the room for the offseason, and I think we got guys that can really help us this year. I saw somewhere that you guys only had like five or six. I scholars. read that too. Yeah, that, Chris, I think Chris had that. Yeah. You guys only had five or six. Yeah, we got we got more than that. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Because we added we had we added Cam obviously, uh, Charles Hall. We've added we've added Zeke Friedman. Uh, Charles came from the University of Virginia. Our, our Virginia Union, excuse me. Now was that a recent one or I didn't hear it? Uh, he was he was here in the summer. We got him here in the summer. He wasn't here in the spring. He was not here in the spring. Okay, that's maybe why. I don't Zeke Freeman was also another player that we added this summer who was not here in the spring. Okay, so Along maybe, with Cam. Okay, so maybe I was thinking it was six because I didn't know it was other two. Right. Maybe we didn't know it was other yeah. two. Okay. There's a few more. We went and we went and got some more. I read that too. And I, okay. That's well, he probably didn't know those two, but that's why he probably said six. Too. Right. So that's a good thing. Creating competition. Yes. Had to do that and uh, created competition, uh, even competition, so to say. So guys that I feel like can really push the room athletically. So I think we got a lot faster this offseason. Uh, we got a lot of bigger and stronger as well. Um, not so much long with length, but uh, I think the guys that we've added to the room could really be explosive in this offense. Well, do you think that they're kind of on an even footing, too? Because the top, the top receiver's left or whatever, so they're all kind of on even footing. It's not like there's one guy that had huge stats last year. It, do they look at themselves as competing? Absolutely. We talk about that all the time. And, you know, it's always like, it's like 1A, B, and C. There is no group 1, group 2, group 3. Um, obviously, for repetitions, you got to create these groups. But when I speak to the group, I speak to them about understanding that this is open competition. You know, we're going to go back and evaluate how guys perform in, in camp to find out who our starting group is. And with that said, there will be a constant rotation of guys that we feel like they, we can trust them and they can perform at that level. So the, the, the competition is healthy, and it's definitely out in the open. Andre Johnson. Andre looks great. He had a great offseason. You know, he obviously fits the stature with his length and his size and his skill and ability. Uh, his part is being able to take that next leap too, from uh, being a spot player to possibly being a starter. You know, a guy that we can leave on the field uh, first and second and third downs, and that can help us in, in big play opportunities. You know, red zone those type of things that we really need. But he had a great offseason. Really excited for what he'll do this year.